Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a really sexy, flirty, all red look to go along <laughs> with my very cute nails. And while I'm doing the look, I'm going to be talking about dating, um, what's been happening in my life in that area since my dating life has been pretty public lately. And yeah, just give you guys some updates and just have fun with the makeup. So I'm gonna get straight into it and just prep my skin first. I'm gonna be using the clay ceramide and I just use a couple pumps and just work it in my skin. I really, really love this product. I just got it this week and I tried it a few times and I'm just obsessed with it. Just makes your skin look so good. <laughs> Gotta get under the bangs too. Next I'll be using the Poreless Skin Cream by Goddess. I love this stuff. Who needs a pore filling primer when your moisturizer can do it? <laughs> I really, really like this. It smells really good and it really like just blurs out all my pores and my skin looks flawless. So dating for me this year has been an interesting process. Um, I wasn't really dating much at all after the show that I did on Netflix um, and I kind of want to touch on why. I think we all saw I met some questionable men <laughs> and also made some questionable choices. If you haven't seen already, I was on this Netflix dating show, Sexy Beast. Your girl's on the first episode, go watch. And it was a really cool experience. We had to blind date each other in these masks. So I had no idea who I was dating. It was really exciting, um, but I basically met some very questionable men on that show. The bar was just really, really low and I don't know. I I went through with it because I was really excited for the opportunity. I met someone there that just really took advantage of me after the show. And I tried to talk about it multiple times on social media, but it just brought up a lot of bad memories. So that's why I never touched on it. So if I'm not mentioning any product names, don't worry because I'll have everything linked down below. But I'm basically just applying this little lip treatment while I'm doing your makeup. This one is super nourishing. It's from Osmosis Skincare and it's also an eye treatment, but I already did my eyes and I am all prepped up. And I'm gonna go in with the Clay Cosmetics CC Cream and this is a really cool product. It comes out looking gray and it kind of just matches your skin tone, which is really cool. It was a roller coaster <laughs> of a ride and I thought I knew my worth back then, but I was just getting started. Like, I didn't really know what to look for in red flags when dating people. I didn't really have strong boundaries either. Oh my god, pause for a minute because look at my skin. <laughs> I swear, this is really, really good. Basically, I went through a very, like, really traumatic and abusive like situation. It was very dangerous. And it's crazy because this person, I literally would never have met if it weren't for that show. Like there is no way in the real world um, that I would ever approach somebody like that or be with somebody like that. So it was all very circumstantial, which kind of made my healing journey around this whole experience a lot harder because I was very hard on myself and felt a lot of guilt and shame about everything that happened um, and that's pretty much what happens when you're in a situation with a narcissist because they will deny they ever did anything wrong by you. They always avert the blame and make themselves look like the better person. And yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to say about that. It was a really bad experience. So I kind of just want to leave it all behind because I am over it and I never was with that person even. I think that being on the show together was just a lot because in the eyes of the world, it seemed like there was like some sort of like chemistry and connection. But at the end of the day, it is just a reality show and we are real people and I never saw it that way. But yeah, I just wanted to give you my point of view on that because 
Um, I know a lot of you have been asking and wondering, you know, what happened and all that. The truth is that a lot of what happened I'm not comfortable sharing because it was very uh, painful. <laughs> I do want to say that the good news is that I have done a lot of internal work and healing and reflecting on the whole situation. I've chosen not to have this person in my life whatsoever after everything that happened. Um, like, he's blocked everywhere, pretty much. <laughs> But that is a personal boundary that I've set because I don't want this person in my life and I don't want to hear about him. And yeah, I would also just appreciate if I don't hear about him from you guys because it is just such old news and I don't know, if I have to heal from somebody, like, I just don't want to hear about them. You know what I mean? And yeah, after this whole situation, I basically was done with dating, done with men done with dating and it took me about like eight months to like finally start thinking about things again and putting myself out there again but in that time period i did so much work i really just wanted to focus on myself and focusing on myself really did pay off because i had to ask the really really hard questions like why am I like this? <laughs> but I think this internal work was crucial because I really had to come face to face with the way I love and who I'm attracted to, my boundaries, how to set better boundaries, um, what I'm really looking for. I got really, really clear on what I'm looking for, but I am so grateful for this hurt and all these lessons. Um, and all these truths that I've uncovered about myself because now after almost a year of being celibate and not dating anybody and just getting really clear on what I want and what I need um, I literally manifested my dream partner yeah and it's funny how life works like that when you stop looking for someone um, they just kind of appear out of nowhere. But it's seriously so exciting that I met somebody that actually understands me and is there for me. And we have a very, very healthy situation that I'm so, so grateful for. By the way, I'm using the KKW contour stick. I think this is the medium one. And I'm just blending. So I guess that's where I'm at right now. I am very much in love and simping and <laughs> having a lot of fun. It's honestly just a breath of fresh air to be with someone that has mutual goals with you and wants to build with you and is supportive and open and sexy. <laughs> I don't regret anything because it brought me where I am and I, you know, experienced some very low lows <laughs> out in the streets and right now I'm experiencing a lot of highs and I'm just super, super grateful. I think the most important thing that got me here uh, in my dating life right now was working on my relationship with myself and not really sharing my energy with anybody else because I really, really just needed to put that energy into myself. I'm obviously still very young and got lots to learn, but I think I've definitely picked up on a few things along the way. Definitely let me know in the comments if you want me to make more videos around dating and relationships. And if you want any advice on anything, definitely just leave a comment or DM me on Instagram. I always check your DMs. This is what we've got going on on the face right now. I just used my Derma Blend Loose Setting Powder and just set my face. I'm gonna go in with some highlighter. I have the Medium Highlighter by KKW Beauty again. I'll just apply this everywhere. I'm super excited for Valentine's Day because this is actually the first time I'm actually celebrating with somebody. I'm gonna be using some blush and I do want it to be pretty flushed. So I kind of bring it on my cheekbone and blend it in with my contour and highlight. A little bit on the nose. 
I'm quickly gonna do my brows, even though you can't see them per se. <laughs> I'm gonna... By the way, do we like this hair? I do have to get a little trim soon, but I loved how high fashion this was. Also, a shout out to Christian Dior for this dress. <laughs> it's a little slip dress that I thrifted up in Vermont for literally $5. I don't think they know. I don't think they know how much this is worth, but I do. <laughs> I'm first just gonna use this little brow gel from Merit just to brush up my brows. Getting back into a romantic relationship after so long was kind of hard, honestly. It was hard being vulnerable again and trusting. Now we're gonna get into the exciting part. So I wanna do an eyeliner look. I have this colorful Morphe palette that I wanna use. I wanna use this red. And to make it into an eyeliner, I'm gonna be using this Inglot uh, Makeup Mixing Liquid. And that way anything you have already can become an eyeliner, which I think is super cool. So let me mix these things up and get to the eyeliner look. Ooh. So from here, I'm gonna bring this in. My hands are shaking. Oh my God. Okay. Kind of like that. <laughs> okay, this is what I got so far. Took me, took me a minute, but it's a little wing and it comes in there's a little gap here i'm gonna finish the other eye off camera because it just took too long and we'll get into mascara lashes lips and we're almost done <laughs> okay, i'm back and this is what we got uh it doesn't look perfect but i like it and it's gonna all come together once i put my mascara and lashes on and i will be applying a few Falsies, like individual lashes. I feel like that's a really cute look. Okay, mascara's on, and I'm gonna be going in with these Ardell Lash Trios. I'm gonna take the medium length and just applying it on the outer edge of my eye. I want just a tiny amount of this lip treatment. And I have this really nice red liner from KKW Beauty. This is Red One. For the lipstick, I'm gonna be using this matte lipstick by Kylie Cosmetics called Boss. That's what I'm feeling like today. <laughs> it's a gorgeous, gorgeous red. I feel like this combo is really nice. I think I want a little bit more highlights, so I'm gonna take my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Opal and just apply a little bit more. So I'm down here. Ooh! Mmm, damn. <laughs> Here's to a year of healthy relationships, amazing sex, and yeah. <laughs> that's it. That's that's the message. <laughs> Damn. I'm obsessed with this look. Ah! Yeah, this is the finished look. I am absolutely in love with myself. <laughs> I think it's so sexy, but still very creative. Plus, I feel like red is now my color. I'm so excited for tonight. I am not sure what the plan is, but we're gonna get dinner, have a little date night, so... Thank you so much for tuning in and listening to what I had to say. I hope this video was fun and insightful. As always, you can also find me on Instagram and TikTok under Emma Papadzanaki. That is how you pronounce my name, by the way. Stay sexy, I love you, and I will see you in my next one. <laughs> Bye!